All right, what's up, guys? Taylor here, and I am doing the free video for Thursday, September 28th. All right, daily chart for the S&Ps, and I've got the Keltner channel set to measure a factor of three. So these are measuring three average true range moves above and below that 21 EMA. Now, anytime price is either up here at plus three or down here at minus three, we've really reached a, a bit of an extreme. So probabilities wise, when we're pushing towards plus three or we're pushing below minus three, there is a growing probability that sometime soon you're going to get that kick back to that 21 EMA. In an uptrend, we rally towards plus three. We pull back to the 21 EMA. And then that pattern continues in a potential downtrend. You'll get the big flush away from that 21. Eventually, price reaches a bit of an extreme. And then when you finally get signs of the turn, then you're looking for a pump back to that falling 21 EMA. So the S&Ps are at minus three, the QQQs at minus three, a couple bigger tech stocks like Amazon, Microsoft, they're at minus three. And then on the other side of the fence here, a big part of the weakness in the equities market has definitely been the strength here in the dollar, the old buckaroo. So you've got the S&Ps, the Qs, uh, I mean pretty much the whole market, trading down at minus three, while the dollar is over here trading at plus three. So the probabilities, they work the same to the upside. The dollar could continue to grind higher, but there's a better chance it's either going to take a little bit of a chill pill, right, maybe kind of uh, trade sideways, or better yet, actually revert back to that 21 EMA. So any kind of chill pill here in the dollar, any sort of pullback to a 21 EMA in the short term, that should help the S&Ps and the Qs get a little bit of lift. And then um, for what it's worth here, I don't think a dip in the dollar would last all that long based on the weekly squeeze. The weekly squeeze fired long one, two, three weeks ago. And as we know, a weekly squeeze can really pack a punch. So if the squeeze kind of works as advertised here, that could go for, you know, five, six to eight plus weeks. But in the short term, any pullback to a daily 21 EMA, great for the bulls. And then back to the S&Ps here. So you want to keep in mind, overbought, oversold, uh, whatever that may be based on for you, it's just context. The context for me is as a swing trader. When price gets down here towards minus three, even if the structure is busted and the structure is busted, even if momentum on the big three squeeze is busted and it's busted, and even if you have a huge target, my downside target right now is the, uh, the 200 SMA. You might have all these reasons to get short. Doesn't mean it's a great short based on the entry. So I think they're trying to set a trap here is notice how yesterday they take out the Tuesday low. They drive the price down for your typical retail trader. That's where most folks are getting short. They're getting crushed on their longs. They're, uh, they're feeling the FOMO. Oh my God, we're taking out the low. The S&Ps are going towards the 200 SMA. They, uh, they kind of throw in the patience towel and they get short. A lot of times, that's exactly what the, uh, the market and the bulls are looking for. They take out the low. They trigger a good flush. All right, come on in, the water's warm. Buy those puts. By the time things closed yesterday, they had already pumped it back above that level. And you're getting a little bit more of a, a follow-through pump here today. So you can imagine, if you're getting short down here, which you should never do at minus 3 ATR. If you're getting short yesterday on the break of that Tuesday low, you're already feeling that pain in the close, um, into the close. You're feeling a little bit more pain here today. If things continue to pump into tomorrow and then Monday, the shorts are feeling more pain. At some point, they throw in the toggle, and then we get the short squeeze. And what I would like to see is a pushback towards 4,400. Personally, I'm still of the thinking we're trying to short the bounces. And for me, that'll pretty much be the case here. So long as the uh, the indicators are cranking out the daily sell signal. 
But for the next few days here, they've got a little bit of a trap going. The dollars hit a point of exhaustion. It's uh, I think it's their best chance they've had in a while to try to get a little something going to the upside. So we'll see if we can't play that with some cheap calls, maybe some butterflies, uh, maybe some put credit spreads. And then, as I mentioned, eventually try to short that bounce for what I think eventually is going to be the actual test of that 200 SMA. Now, if we do end up again back under that Tuesday low, then I think at that point we're probably going down towards towards 4,200 rather quickly. So be nimble, be quick, stay disciplined. But as always, guys, we appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and the subscribe button. And comment down below who you're taking for Monday Night Football tonight. Green Bay Packers, Detroit Lions. I am going with the Lions. That's um that's coming from a Denver Broncos fan, though. So, <laughs> I'm in no position to talk. But alright, guys, have a good night, and I'll talk to you in the next one. What's up, traders? This is Taylor from Simpler Trading. I wanted to thank you for watching our video, and if you liked the video, go on ahead and comment down below, hit that like button, and make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get a notification anytime we upload our next video. And of course, if you want to watch us trade live in real time with our own money, check us out at simplertrading.com. Until then, trade safe, and I'll catch you in the next video.